Hey, hey, hey! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another amazing animal show here at SeaQuest. I want to introduce everybody today to Skippy. Skippy is a capybara. He is known as one of the world's largest rodents. Although they might not look like one of your cupboard or kitchen dwellers like a mouse or anything, they can get really big. They are native to South America. People are intrigued with them because they look like an overgrown guinea pig. Belonging to the cavy family, their closest relatives are guinea pigs and rock cavies. They are essentially the rodent version of a hippopotamus. They are known for gnawing on their food while hanging out in the Amazon River and in the banks. As you can see as we move a little bit here and try to get a better shot of Skippy for you, you can see his eyes and nose are at the top of his big head there. That's so that while they're hanging out in the Amazon River around the water, their body can be in the water staying nice and cool on those really hot days, but yet still be able to breathe and see their perimeter that's around them. And on a little bit of a different note, you can see Skippy eating here today. One of the other known facts about a cappy is that they eat their own dung to maximize the nutrition that they get from all their food. A lot like a rabbit. I wouldn't recommend trying that at home though, folks. Also, but you can see that basically that they live around the water because of the semi-aquatic lifestyle. I'm trying to get a little closer view of his feet while he's eating here. But you can notice he's got webbed feet. That's so he can maneuver around and get in the water. Um, they'll hang out basically in the banks of the Amazon. They'll be sitting there living around the uh, marshes. They're going to be in the mangroves. Um, just along the banks of any water area like that. And again, they're going to be looking out and keeping an eye on open for any predator that might be in the area. Uh, some of the predators that kind of uh, they keep an eye out for the anacondas, wildcats, and even eagles. And actually, when the cappy's out there swimming, uh, it, it's known that they can go underwater for up to five minutes at a time. They often fall asleep on the banks, but that's why I said that their nose and their eyes can stay ahead open up with the rest of their body in the water basically so that it can help help them stay cool. Kind of a, a built-in air conditioning system for them by hanging out in the water. Though. While cappies still at home on the water, they are certainly no stranger to land. Some of the interesting facts about these guys on land is, do you realize that a guy this big, he can run up to 35 kilometers an hour. That's the same as 21 miles an hour. He's as fast as a horse. Can you imagine this guy keeping up with a horse? That's pretty crazy, isn't it? They're also a pretty vocal animal in the wild as well. They're known for basically, they can purr, they'll bark, they'll cackle, they'll whistle, they'll squeal, they'll grunt. They'll even chatter their teeth, depending on what they're trying to communicate to their group. Different ways of communicating with their groups is kind of like when you guys are talking, you want to send a different message depending on what you say. So depending on the noise, these guys might be able to, you know, trying to warn the rest of their group from a predator coming, and lots of times maybe from a young that's being isolated from them. You see he likes his Timothy Hay as well. Hey Timothy, you do doing awesome. Another amazing fact about these guys is their teeth. Their teeth, their pearly whites will continuously grow like rabbits. Their high crown, narrow edged teeth are perfect for cutting up all the foliage that they're going to be eating constantly. An adult cappy can also weigh as much as an adult human with an average weight of around 50 kilograms. As you can kind of see, he's kind of got a barrel shaped body to him with a big head on the side of it. But they can get up to, like they say, 150 kilograms, which is 110 pounds. And then basically that's on an average. But like I say, known to be a rodent, like the size of a mouse, that's pretty crazy to know they can get that big. The average size can be anywhere from 35 to 70 kilograms. That's anywhere from 75 on the small side, 75 pounds, all the way up to 155 pounds. And the females tend to get a little bit larger than their male counterparts. Capybaras are also her her herbivores. They eat a diet of aquatic plants, grasses, bark, tubers, and even sugar cane. Although they are able to eat, they are able to eat greens basically within a short week of being born. They'll drink their mother's milk for 16 weeks, and then when they're in a group of cappies, it doesn't even have to be the mother that gave them birth. They will actually nurse with any mother that is in the group for that 16-week period. So there you go. There's a bunch of little fun facts about Skippy, our friendly little capybara. He's awesome. 
Uh, lots of times when you come down here and interact with him, you can feed him by hand and uh, you can touch him and feel his fur. His fur, as you can see, is really looking coarse. It's very clean, it's bristly. It's like a firm paintbrush when you touch it. But again, I'm just gonna try to move around a little bit while Skippy's eating his lunch here today to kind of get, show you some of the highlights, kind of those webbed feet that we were talking about. So you can kind of see those. And then we'll kind of get you up here. I'm not sure if he's gonna smile and let us see his beautiful white pearlies today. How you doing, Skippy? Well, there you go, guys. I just wanted to give you a little quick introduction to Skippy, our amazing capybara here. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for joining us.